So next up from Ascot is race 15, the Warfield Mares. Hurdle over three miles, great two events. Number one, recruiting agent three on Renrensburg, along with number two, lateral thinking. Three, Sertonia Demur for Hems. Four, Beachdale Lola for James Shea. Five, Estatide Jubilati for Hems. Six, Honey Honey for Pontypool Racing. Seven, Shady Reflection for Ryan Costello. Eight, The White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. And nine, Verge for James Shea. Star's got him away over this three-mile hurdle event. Ascot, they get to the first, and they'll skip over it. And we're just being led by a nose. By honey, honey. Graham Clutterbuck from the White Witch, the grey against the fence. And one, two. Plenty of racing to go. The Leon Van Rensburg horses of lateral thinking and a recruiting agent pushing through. All they recruiting that is that recruiting agent, or was that lateral thinking that just went through the top of that? But anyway, we're led by honey, honey. Got a length and a half advantage from a recruiting agent and Satonia Demur. White Witch against the fence. The White Silk's a shady reflection. Wider of that is Beachdale Lola. Back up towards the fence is a second Van Rensburg horse, lateral thinking. And followed through by the grey Estatide Jubilati. And Verge, just sitting on his own towards the rear. We've got the Rao for company. We've 13 flights here to take. We've done three. Well, we have now. Everybody's still on their feet, and here's Honey Honey from Recruiting Agent and the White Witch. The 1, 2, 3. And the War of Horses, Satonia Demure, Lateral Thinking. And Beachdale Lola. And then followed through by Shady Reflection and Estatide Jubilati. So you go over the fourth, a slow jump there by Shady Reflection. We've lost sight of Verge at the moment. I'm sure he's still plugging away there, because we've still got well over two miles to go. Honey Honey has uh, led them off a little bit here. He's got a few of them uh, pushing along a little bit to keep up with him. There's plenty of racing still to happen. And it is Honey Honey from Recruiting Agent, the White Witch. The three of Sutton Demur, Lateral Thinking. And Beachdale Lola. And Estatide Jubilati. And the Great. It's the fifth. Everybody skips over that one. We can just see Verge now towards the rear. Come up towards the grandstand. Now then you get to the winning post. We finally get to the sixth hurdle. Everybody skips over that all bar shady reflection. He brushed his shins as he went through that. That's still on his feet. The jockey on board. So it is Honey Honey from Recruiting Agent and the White Witch. Lateral thinking beach now low up. Satonia de Amour and Estatide Jubilati. And about a further five back to Shady Reflection. And then Verge just a further three from him. But it's still Honey Honey. So we'll lead them on out for one more circuit. Just over a mile still to travel. And here's Honey Honey from Recruiting Agent, the White Witch, Lateral Thinking. Each towel loader and Satonia de Amour. Oh no, so Tony de Miller is one with Esther Tide Jubilati. I think they're stable mates. And then the Hems is horses, Craig Allen's running along together. We get to the seventh. And then we'll skip over that as well. One well, that seems to be taking a little bit of a hold is lateral thinking. So it uh, looks like he's going to have plenty left with a mile and a quarter still to travel. It is Honey Honey. Takes him over the eighth, takes it well. Nice big fast jump there by the White Witch, jumps him into second on his own. And Beachdale Loader on the outside in the green silks. And recruiting agent and lateral thinking. The grey is to tie Jubilati. Satonia Demur. Get to the ninth. A bit of a slow jump by the leader there. And allowed the White Witch and Beachdale Loader to jump up within a length. But we're still over a mile to travel. And it is Honey Honey still from the White Witch and Beachdale Lola. Lateral thinking and recruiting agent. Estatide Jubilati and Satonia Dimur. We've lost track of the Verge and Shady Reflection. They're out of shot. And it's finally the Honey Honey is going to get taken on by the White Witch as they swing right handed. It is Honey Honey, the White Witch on the outside, Beach Town Lola. Lateral thinking and recruiting agent. We get to the 10th, which is 4 from home. And it is Honey Honey still leading, just by a length though from the White Witch. Further two back to Beachdale Lola. 
And we've got a further four or five back to natural thinking. That's not just to tie Jubilati recruiting agent. Hasn't asked for anything yet. And Satonia Demur. We'll all have to get a bit of a wiggle on. As they go, the three from home. And it is still Honey Honey. And we've been driven along now. We've been driven along for a while. The White Witch in second. Beach Dow Lola. Also off the bridle. Running well now. Satonia Demur. But it's still Honey Honey inside the final half a mile. It's got about four lengths from the White Witch and Beachdale Lola. Not giving up yet. No further three or four back to recruiting agent and Satonia Demure and lateral thinking. Has to tie Jubilati. Inside the three now. Honey Honey. Come up to the penultimate. Takes it well. Gets away from it. The White Witch jumped it well. Going to start trying to chase down this leader. And it's your one, two, three. It's Honey Honey, the White Witch, Beach Dow, Lola, recruiting agent, lateral thinking. I've got a bit to do inside the final two. But it's Honey Honey now being pressed by the White Witch as they go over the last. Oh, he went straight through the top of it. Honey Honey gives away his first place to the White Witch. And the White Witch, as they hit the furlong pole, has now got a length advantage from Beach Dow, Lola. Honey Honey trying to pick up again. The two recruiting agent, lateral thinking, are not going to win from there. But it looks like the White Witch is going to take this unless Beach Dow, Lola can sprout a few fling, wings. But the Warfield Mayor's Hurdle goes to the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. Unlucky to Honey Honey, our long time leader that turned up being third. Just had a right mistake at the last. Probably cost him the race. Beach down Lola was second. And the two Leon Van Rensburg's horses were fourth and fifth. So it's a good win for the White Witch and Josh Sutherland. Takes the Warfield. Beach Noble Lola for James Shea comes second. Honey Honey for Pontual Racing was third. Recurring Agent and Lateral Thinking were fourth and fifth for Leon Van Rensburg.